immigration debate isn't just secluded to Washington or the Southwest. The possibility of undocumented children being housed at a facility in Tuscola County has ignited the controversy right here in mid-Michigan. WNEM TV5's Faith Gantner talked to the vice president of that facility and has the latest. I just am not satisfied with this at all. Nobody else is going to take care of them or try to help them then why should we boot them out? Vassar residents divided over the idea that undocumented children could soon find refuge here in mid-Michigan. Today, Wolverine Human Services Vice President Derek McCree gave us an update on contract negotiations that could result in the Vassar facility providing short-term housing for these children. In the business, we should have an agreement in place with our Illinois agency. Agency in Illinois is, is contracting with the federal government. We're subcontracting. As TV5 reported yesterday, Congressman Dan Kildee stated no facilities in his district were being considered, but at that time his office was unaware that Wolverine was in talks to subcontract with another agency. They've had verbal uh, uh, approval from the government to move forward with this venture of subcontracting. I'm fairly confident that it will, but we're not. I would never say done deal until you know, everything's approved. Derek McCree also says Wolverine is a nonprofit agency and the company won't obtain any profits above cost for this contract. We're doing this pretty much at cost. We don't intend to like go in the red, but we also don't intend to go and, you know, into the black. Today, TV5 also spoke to Dan Kildee over the phone from Washington, D.C. He says the situation could have been avoided with better immigration reform laws, but now he says it's a national problem that must be dealt with. Make sure that people just sort of take a deep breath, have a better understanding that no decisions have been made, and that the people that we're talking about are children who have been displaced, and that uh, we need to deal with in one way or the other and, and just to try to bring a calmer and I think more rational approach to the whole conversation. Reporting from Vassar, Faith Gantner, WNEM TV5. And a special meeting in Vassar is scheduled for 6 p.m. tonight. We will have continuing coverage on that tonight at 6 o'clock and we want to hear your thoughts on this growing controversy in today's Fast Feedback. What would you do to deal with the immigration crisis in America? Leave your ideas on our Facebook page and we will read some